Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Ace channel. Former world champion in two weight categories David Hay believed that Anthony Joshua should not change his coach before the rematch with Alexander Usyk. Hay believed that before the rematch with Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua needs to look at how competently Vladimir Klitschko acted against smaller rivals. Sergei Gorodnichev, an ex-member of Vladimir Klitschko's coaching staff, is confident that the fight with WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk will be a serious test for WBC champion Tyson Fury. Gorodnichev, a former member of the coaching staff of Vladimir Klitschko, dubbed that the owner of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight titles Alexander Usyk will fight against the absolute world champion in the second middle division, Saul Alvarez. Gorodnichev also believed that the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury specifically asked not to make Dillian White a mandatory challenger in order to try to negotiate a fight with WBA, WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk. Alexander Krasyuk, CEO of K2 Promotions Ukraine, said that their promotion company will continue to copyright with the current World Heavyweight Champion Alexander Usyk. The fight with Anthony Joshua was the last for the Ukrainian under the contract with K2. At the same time, Usyk had previously expressed claims to the company of the Klitschko brothers, not wanting to extend the agreement. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Former world champion in two weight categories David Hay believed that Anthony Joshua should not change his coach before the rematch with Alexander Usyk. I don't think Joshua needs a new coach. I doubt that the reason for his defeat to Usyk was coaches or physical training specialists. I think it's all about intentions. It looked like Joshua wasn't going to knock out Usyk. He was trying to win at the expense of boxing. It worked in his previous fights. Joshua boxed with Pulev and broke him thanks to a jab, and then knocked him out. Before that, there was a rematch with Andy Ruiz. Maybe Joshua went into boxing mode thinking he could just box. Joshua's amateur career was short, but it was at a very high level. A few years ago, joining boxing, he fought in the final of the World Boxing Championship. Joshua was very successful and established himself as a boxer who fights at a long distance. Perhaps he believed that he should box at the distance. Sometimes it works great, but with certain opponents you need to change your actions, say David Hay. Hay believes that before the rematch with Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua needs to look at how competently Vladimir Klitschko acted against smaller rivals. The clinches of Joshua and Usyk were very friendly. Their duel resembled an amateur one, when the referee almost does not interfere. Joshua is a very big, strong, powerful and athletic. This should be used to attack a small opponent in close combat. Push him away. Lean on him. Look at how Vladimir Klitschko fought with smaller rivals. With me or Pavetkin, we were dangerous, but he disarmed us by taking advantage of our size. He was leaning on us to deprive us of energy and slow us down. This is a very smart move on the part of the big guy. Watch Lennox Lewis fights. He kept his distance and then he got closer and acted where he told there. You need to expand the rules until the referee tells you to calm down. But in the Joshua Usyk fight, the referee didn't have to warn them. 
because they both is like a gentleman. With Alexander, you need to act completely differently. You have to arrange a dynamic fight, tall and uncompromising. But to do this, you need to take damage at close range. It's difficult to fight close without missing anything in response, say David Hay. Sergei Gorodnichev, an ex-member of Vladimir Klitschko's coaching staff, is confident that the fight with WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk will be a serious test for WBC champion Tyson Fury. Naturally, Fury's desire to box with Uzi can be understood. Take all the bells and tell everyone to fuck off, because he thinks Joshua is easy prey compared to Alexander. After Anthony boxed off with Usyk, it's become clear that Fury would move Joshua, and that will be the end of it. Fury will have problems with Usyk, that's understandable. While they are at their peak, while they are and still young, while Usyk is in good shape, Fury wants to box with him. Plus, it's a lot of money. Everyone knows Usyk, everyone wants to box with him, because he has three belts, Gorodnichev said in an interview. Sergei Gorodnichev, a former member of the coaching staff of Vladimir Klitschko, doubts that the owner of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight titles Alexander Usyk will fight against the absolute world champion in the second middle division, Saul Alvarez. Rumors began to circulate that Canelo could box with Usyk. But this is sky high case, because Alvarez is boxing in a different weight category. Ok, he will be allowed to cruise if he weighed 18 to 83 kilograms. But for him to box in the heavyweight division, he needs to weigh at least 91 kilograms. It should be with a huge neck. Shoulders, of course, gain weight. Is it advisable to conduct this fight? For PR, yes, but I don't know. Canelo will get our grown with muscles. It will be heavy. You can say it will grow in fat. Low speed. Yes, there will be power, but will he have enough of a blow well with the Usyk? Unlikely. I don't see this fight at all. I don't even want to consider it. It's in the far, far future. I don't know how long I will have to wait. Secondly, Usyk needs to win a rematch with Joshua and then fight for the absolute in order to consider the next fight with Canelo. While this is in the distant future, however, I'm not sure that this fight will be at all. But it will be interesting to see such boxers, Gorodnichev said. Alexander Krasyuk, the promoter of the WBA Super, WBO, IBF and IBO World Heavyweight Champion Alexander Usyk, explained why it is unprofitable for his college from mushroom boxing, representing Anthony Joshua to hold a rematch at the NSK Olympic Stadium in Kyiv. Our decision on the venue of the rematch will be based preliminarily on the commercial component, Krasiuk said. By and large, the only parameter in which Ukraine will not be able to surpass the UK is the revenue from ticket sales. Despite the fact that we will be able to accommodate about 70,000 people at the Olympic Stadium, we will be able to accommodate a little more spectators at Wembley and 19,000. Thus, the United average price of one ticket will differ by about 1 zero. And in this regard, the revenue from tickets in the UK will certainly look more appropriate. Promoter of Alexander Rusik, Alexander Krasyuk, shared his thoughts about a possible duel of his clients with the owner of the WBC heavyweight belts Tyson Fury. After the third fight of Tyson and Dante, you say that for Usyk, a fight against Fury or Wilder will be a sweet bond. Wilder forgot about boxing and principle. He even lost his boxing coordination. I'm not talking about footwork. He was absent altogether. It seems to me that there will be trenches on the flooring. Neither of them worked on their feet, said Krasiuk. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.